Today's video is about square numbers, and we're going to start by uh, making some arrays. And the first number we're going to start with is um, we're just going to make, I need to change colors here. Let's go blue. We're going to make one dot. Now, you might not think that's an array. But it is an array because this array, the number model would be, it has one row times one column, which equals one. If we drew around that, we would have a square. So one is a square number. And then let's go to the, let's go to two. The only way we can um, represent two with an array is either one row in two columns or two rows in one column. So if we draw around our array, we get rectangles. So two is not a square number. I'm going to skip three, and let's go to the next square number, which is four. Now, four could also be a rectangle, one times four, or four times one. But if I draw around that, I get a square, and so four is a square number. Two rows times two columns or two columns times two rows equals four. And then our next square that we could make we had three rows in three columns, three times three equals nine. So nine is a square number. So, so far we have one, we have four, we have nine. What do you think is gonna be the next one? What do you think is gonna be the next one? Well, we're gonna have All of our columns and rows have to be the same. So we'll have four rows and four columns. So 4 times 4 equals 16. So we've got, if we connect the outside, we've got another square. So 16 is a square number. Now, one thing I want you to notice about these square numbers, look at the factors. Each of the factors in the number model is the same. Each of the number is the same. So to find a square number, you multiply two of the same numbers together. You can keep going forever making um, square arrays by making sure that the number of rows and the number of columns is the same. Okay, the next thing I'm, I want to show you then is Another way of writing is square number. There are things in math called exponents. So I'm going to write a variable up here, x. This little number up here that's above, we're going to imagine this is an, could be any number. There's a variable. could be any number. Whenever you see a number written to above that, it's called an exponent. And exponents 
just tell you that whatever this number is, you multiply it together this many times. And if it, whenever it's a two, you're squaring the number. So another way of writing this would be x times, remember the dot can be times, x times x equals x squared. So this means the same thing, it's just two different ways of writing it. And then we see the two that's squared. And there's one more symbol I'm going to show you. Um, we're not going to go over it a lot with this lesson, but you may have seen it on a calculator before. It's called the square root key. So if, you, if you're looking to find the square root, you hit this on your calculator and give you the answer. So, for example, the square root of, if we did the square root of 16, the square root of 16 is going to be 4. It starts with the 4. The square root of 9 is 3. It's one of the factors. The square root of 4 is 2. We could keep going on and on with that. So square numbers um, are numbers that if you draw a square array, however many total dots you have, that, that would be a square number.